Hello, 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 Mosaic Souls. Hey Mosaic Souls, this is Rachel Alexander, artist and Mosaic Soul Mentor, aka Spiritual Teacher with Flair. And today I wanted to talk to you about how to let go of your past. So this came up for me um, this past week as I was just kind of going through life and just journeying through life. And I noticed that I have a natural knack or talent to not dwell on my past. And I noticed that a lot of people in my life, friends and family and stuff, have a tendency to dwell on the past. And then I kind of got caught up in that whole thing as well. And one of the things that I notice is that we have a tendency when we are wanting to create a new reality, when we are wanting to experience a different experience than what we've been experiencing, we always, we have a tendency to come from the past. We have a tendency to look at our future through the lens of the past. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. This is literally how our little critter brains, our minds, our physical minds are designed to operate to take the past and then assume that the future will be like the past but as a divine spiritual being you know and i know as well that we live in an infinite full of inf a, a universe full of infinite possibilities and that at any moment in time we are literally shifting from different parallel realities from one literally one second millisecond to the next and so even though it seems like there's this continuous line of events that continuously happen, it's because we have a very strong belief and a very strong expectation that our future will be like the past just because of our conditioning. And so the question then arises is how do we let go of the past so that we can create a future, a more desired future? And as I was meditating this morning and as I was connecting with my spirit fam, my divine team, it was almost like I just dived into a pool or a water, like a big body of water of nowness, a big body of water of infinite possibilities. And it was like, it was like my spirit fam guided me through this very brief meditation. And it was like in this moment, I was literally experiencing the, the possibilities, the infinite possibilities and letting go of all the past that I had experienced and letting go of all the projected future that I was expecting. And I literally dived into this moment of just pure nothingness. It was just pure nothingness and everythingness at the same time. And it was like learning to let go of the past comes from this understanding and remembrance of who and what you are and understanding how the universe works and understanding that Time is only an illusion on our planet. And when we have a strong expectation for our future to be like our past in any way, form or fashion, we are literally creating that. We are the creators of our reality. We are literally setting the stage full of old props and old um, situations and circumstances because we have ex a strong expectation because our physical mind is designed to keep us safe from learning from the past, which is totally fine. But as a divine being, you can then now take that higher perspective from your higher self in knowing who you truly are and letting go of past experiences and letting go of what you think would happen and expectations of what happened based on past experiences so that you can then shift more fully into uh, vast possibilities of things happening and letting go of our old stories of you know, this happened to me or she did this to me or he did this to me and letting go of all these old expectations, especially when it comes to dealing with people and expecting them to be a certain way and ex dealing with certain circumstances and expecting it to be a certain way. 
we all have a tendency to have such high expectations or deep expectations of things to reoccur in the way that they have. And because we live in an infinite universe and because we live in a world of infinite possibilities where literally from one millisecond to the next millisecond to the next millisecond, we are literally experiencing and expanding into infinite possibilities we can let go of the past and literally expect a different future, expect a different outcome. So let's give an example. I can give you an example from my life. Um, I'm going to give hypothetical examples, not literal examples. So let's say a loved one. Um, so let's say like a cousin of yours that you were close to or whatever you grew up with was always um, has like a negative outlook on life or has a sense of like, um, you know, entitlement is just very rude to you and doesn't really show respect and stuff. And so every time you come around this cousin, you have this sort of disdain towards this person. So instead of expecting this person to have this sort of negative outlook on life or a sense of entitlement when they come around you, which makes you want to not be around them, you can then decide that you no longer want to experience that person. And instead of walking into the room, expecting this person to be a certain way, you can literally come into the room one of two ways. And it depends on where you are vibrationally. So as I always say, flow with what feels good and let go of what doesn't. But you can come in very neutral. So in the sea of nothingness and everythingness, where you expect nothing and you are not having any expectations that this person is going to be rude, or callous or mean or angry towards you, you're not coming in with anything. You're very neutral. You can come in that way, walk into the room that way. Or two, you can come in depending on where you are vibrationally, whether you've like amped up your vibe, expecting this person to be full of love and light. And not even necessarily that, but you are on a high vibration. And so anyone who is not a match to that cannot literally be in your vicinity because they're either going to pull you down to their vibration or they're going to have to rise up to meet you where you are vibrationally. You see what I'm saying? And so there's different ways that we can play with this, right? And, and understanding and approaching our lives from a perspective of an inner knowing and inner understanding of who and what we are. So that's like just of like a human or a relationship type of example. This can happen and be applied to anything, whether it's you wanting to lose extra weight, whether you're wanting to gain weight, whether you're wanting to get a job or a raise, whether you're wanting to, you know, build a successful venture, whatever it is. If you like, I had a conversation with a friend just recently and they were talking about, um, we were talking about the fear that um, that person experiences when wanting to pursue a new venture because they've had so much programming and so many experiences that led to quote unquote failure that anytime they wanted to embark on this new venture, they immediately went into fear and self-doubt because they, it's like they didn't trust their self, their highest excitement because they felt like maybe their highest excitement came from a place of lack and fear instead of true joy and instead of truly uh, leading them to their their desired outcomes. And so when you're when you're understanding who and what you truly are, you can come into more fully accepting that your joy, your passion, your excitement is the quickest, fastest path to your desired outcomes. And to other possible infinite realities versus old conditioning, old expectations, old uh, experiences versus continuously playing that out through the fear, you can let go of that fear and then move into trusting whatever your passion and the excitement is. Um, let's say, you know, for wanting to build a venture, right? So I was basically kind of telling my friend the same kind of situation where, you know, where we have a tendency to um, come from a place of self-doubt when we're wanting to build something new or wanting to create something new, um, instead of referencing our lives from the past, which can be helpful in certain instances, right? Like you don't want to go touch the fire because you know that it'll burn you. And those instances, right, where it's like literally, literally physical danger. But when it's like you're in this present moment and if you drop into the sea of nothingness, the sea of everythingness in this moment, just try it for me. Breathe in this moment and let go of your past identity. Let go of who you were. Let go of all these stories 
that you've had in the past and move into this moment of woman sitting on bed or man sitting on chair watching video, whatever you're doing, and just breathe into this moment and letting go of your past identity. And, and you know, these are just simple tips and tricks to help you let go of the past because when you want to, when moving into creating more of what you want, letting go of the past is kind of essential because you get to then recreate or create a completely new identity. You get to step into a version of yourself that you might not have previously experienced because you're not attached to the past. You're not attached to creating or experiencing the same old thing because you're not coming from the same old person. You're coming from a new and fresh perspective. You're coming from a new and fresh version of yourself versus the old version of yourself that is jaded or that is scared or fearful or doubtful of whatever you're trying to create, whatever you're trying to shift into. So I hope that this tip has been helpful in any way. You know, this just this tip and step is basically step, how do you let go of the past? Try this step or this tip of just stepping into, breathing into this moment. And as you breathe out, let go of your past identity, let go of old stories. Breathe in and then breathe out and continue to let go of what no longer serves you in this moment. And, you know, for me, I like the visual aspect of adding me diving into the sea of infinite possibilities and letting go and it really kind of immerses me into this now moment and for me it helps me to seep myself into this like cloth of loving uh peaceful joyful excitement and just seep into oh everything's okay i'm creating this moment and it helps me to step into this present moment it helps me to step into remembering who i am and letting go of the past so i hope this has been helpful and some way, form, or fashion is always flow with what feels good and let go of what doesn't because you are divine and your soul knows exactly what you need in order to thrive and continue along on your journey. So remember to vibrate higher and I will talk to you guys later.